<laughs> You're a rotten egg. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today, we're going to be trying out this Lumber Wizard 5 for the first time. It is a metal detector, and as some of you know, we have been cutting through some logs that we know have metal in them, and we wanna give this thing a shot. So let's get into this video. So a lot of you out there have been telling us to get a metal detector so we can see if there's metal in our logs before we run them through the sawmill and ruin our blade. And so we actually had one sent to us. It's the Wizard 5 metal detector and we're going to be trying it out today and seeing just how well it works. I know a lot of you out there are woodworkers and this can be a really handy tool to save your machinery. So we're going to test it out today. I already tested it out on Jade earlier <laughs> so we know it kind of works, right? All right, so let's let's do it. So this thing takes a 9 volt battery and it basically said it can work up to like 60 hours with the one battery so all you do is you turn it on and by pushing the button <laughs> and it beeps that means it's ready to go all right test it on jade yeah. oh it works okay so now we can go ahead and um <laughs> these logs we know have metal in them all right so it's not really uh, useful for us to run this over them because regardless of whether it beeps or not, we're gonna run it through the mill. Um, so you can actually see where holes were cut out of them. And you can assume that that may have been metal there, but I just, uh, be maybe before we run it over the logs, we should see, it's just beeping like randomly right now. <laughs> I don't know if, okay, I don't, maybe it's me. Okay, so this thing can actually, uh, it said the range is like six inches. So that's pretty good. It's like a half a foot away from um, all metal. So basically my belt buckle, it's maybe beeping on that. My watch, oh, it's probably my watch. My watch. Um, so a lot of stuff, it can definitely sense it. Uh, if one thing that is an issue, okay, I have no idea what's happening right now. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> As I was saying, um, the deck is actually made of metal and of course so is the mill so it's kind of hard to even put these like try and like scan all of it um accurately because the moment it gets like anywhere by the uh deck it beeps so like about six inches i'd say from um all metal and i was over here and the can't hook is doing it so a lot of other things are making it beef so that can kind of be hard i guess um and so far i have not found any metal <laughs> in these logs i mean it's not making it go off at least so i don't know what that really means we're just gonna have to keep on experimenting with some things and see just how accurate this is breaking news you guys the mill's metal <laughs> Right there is a piece of metal. This is on one of our slabs, so we already cut through that with the mill, and it's definitely making the uh, beeper go off. If you hold it on there, it will hold the beep, so. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put one of these slabs, it's about a two inch slab, maybe two and a half inch slab, over the slab and see if it can detect it through two and a half inches of wood. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, actually, it's uh, not going off at all. Nope, nothing. 
not getting any indication that there is metal under there at all. I don't know if it's just not that big enough. Uh, I mean, it was a decent chunk that was visible in the board. Uh, I don't know if that's just too much wood for it to detect through. I don't know, maybe we should put a different one on top, a thinner one, and see then, because I'm kind of curious. It wouldn't really be useful to use on logs unless it could detect through, um, because what would happen is, say, a, uh, say somebody put a nail in a tree when the tree was young, it grew up around it, and then like the nail won't be visible on the outside anymore. So it's not really going to be useful for that unless it can detect below um, a certain like a certain amount of wood. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit disappointing, but let's try a thinner piece out. I just went and grabbed a thin piece of bark and we're gonna try this out. All right, the moment of truth. Nothing, seriously? Oh, that's actually surprising. Did it stop working? What the heck? It's still detecting my watch from like two inch distance, nothing. Oh, well that's, yeah, that's a real bummer actually. Hmm, I guess it doesn't work that well. Now I kind of feel like I've misunderstood the purpose of this device. So I grabbed the package here and it does say specifically for saw blades. Um, but on the depiction there, you can actually see all of the nails visible as he's running over it with the, the wizard or whatever. So I, I kind of think that that's a little goofy because why would you need something to beep at you to, to know that there's metal when you can just look down and see it? I, that does kind of... Um, as if that is ponderous, but I don't know. It, it does say it's the best-selling woodworking metal detector and that it just got better again. So, um, yeah, I don't know. We can continue to experiment with it, I guess, but for now, it doesn't have much use to us here at the log yard um, with the logs because it doesn't appear to work. Thanks for watching today's video, everyone. I hope that you learned something about metal detectors today. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But other than that, I'll see you back here next time. You're a rotten egg. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't worry, I am too.